Howdy folks and welcome back once more. Let's play Ravenloft Stone Prophet, which I almost called Tales of Symphonia. Apparently the scars run deeper than I thought. Anyways, today we are going inside the maw of the Stony Summit. This place, to my recollection, is pretty bad. I specifically remember there being a lot of uh, grave elementals down here. Whether or not that's actually the case, I don't know. Okay, just making sure. I wanted to see damage animations before I really started murdering. Okay. Let's poke around in here. I know there are secret walls. I know there are traps in here. I know there's all kinds of bullshit. I know that there are grave elementals that pop up down these corridors. See, it's weird. Like, Menzo Berenzen. Just making sure I still had sound. Menzo Berenzen. Yeah, Menzo Berenzen took place entirely underground, but it never really captured the feeling of like a dungeon crawl. Ah, fly. Wonderful. This game, like as soon as I came in here, like I'm like, this feels like a dungeon crawl. It's weird how that works. So the first thing I want to do is come in on Rove and I want to memorize fly. OK, now we're going to have a nappy or not because there's monsters. All right, we're going to go outside. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We're gonna have a nappy. All right. Prayer going. And we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do some science. Okay. Save. New slot. There really aren't many places in this game, to my recollection, where fly specifically is super, super useful. Because if I recall correctly, you can't like fly. Like, there are some areas where you'll fall down in pits. You can't fly out of said pits, sadly, which would be great if you could. But I mean, I guess you can only ask so much of your ancient DOS RPGs, I guess. I don't I don't know. Nope. See, now I want to buy the haste spell. We have fly next next in line for nifty spells what Pappy Ghost wants. Absolutely haste. Haste is a game changer. Haste is like busted. Haste has been busted since forever. They tried to balance it with like, oh, it ages you. But everybody played demi humans anyway, so the aging didn't really matter. Castles and Crusades. I want to say Castles and Crusades actually makes it so that like after haste wears off, you take like a permanent point of constitution loss. Which like, yeah, that, that kind of, I think, goes a little bit too far in the opposite direction. And then like haste then becomes an, a spell of either utmost emergency or only NPCs are going to use it because their life expectancy is typically a combat. So it's, it's troublesome in a different way. Now, I saw that lightning bolt. Yeah. Okay, what did that do to that? That didn't open the door, but there's a pit. I'm going to wait. Do we get another lightning bolt or did that turn off the trap? I think I might have turned off the trap. OK, because yeah, I'm sure that pit is here specifically for people that would like come up and try to duck dust. Stone to sand. Time buries all. Intruder, the hour of your fall has come. Trajan cat in the background, just like being weird. Oh, hey. That's that is a number of trolls. Is this this is a staff of thunder and lightning? Oh, y'all can die. That is like a lot of trolls. There's like five of those guys in here. This is this is some like first edition encounter design going on right here. Holy shit. Get out of here. I didn't roll 2d20 trolls on the Oberland game. Come on now. Slow your roll. What do we got? Is that a another potion? Man, we are swimming in potions. Mage scroll of jump. Sure. Why not? Rogue gets everything because we don't have a secondary wizard in the party. Uh, all right. Another potion healing here. Let's uh, drink some of these. 
we have here. Okay, so I was I was once more given information for hotkeys in this. So if I hit an F key, it'll put it into their inventory. So if I, if I hit F1, it disappears from my cursor and it should be in rows. Yes. Now, if in my inventory I have something selected and I hit D. Oh, is it shifty? Uh, we were supposed to be able to drop things from our inventory with with the D key. Oh, no, there it goes. We just needed a room. But yeah, so we can do things from our inventory. Ain't that nice? Fucking wonderful. Much convenience. Of course, now that I know that, the only downside is that, like, I'm moving with the... I'm moving with the, um the numpad so to hit the F keys I have to move my hand to the opposite side of the keyboard which kind of sucks but what are you gonna do all right door what's your jam do you, do you get it it's a it's a pun based on you get it there's got to be a button for that door around here somewhere how is this it troll immediately purging in the background just the one of you I assume that hit. Are you dead? I'm gonna give it a second. You're dead, okay. I should probably sleep again. That would be the smart thing to do. Got that key on here, do we have this one? We do. That's the key that we got uh, from the chief, I think. So this is probably their treasure room. Maybe with the Wemix armor. Of course there's three of you shits in here. All right, I need to wait for them to get all clumped together here, like this, so that I can fireball them. All right, my assumption is that that hit all of them. I want to ice storm them really bad, but if I do that, I'm going to take damage. So I'm going to do it from back here. Chill out. Wow. I guess ice storm does some damage. Good to know. Another potion. Good God, so many potions. Uh, detect undead. All right. What else we got? Is that it? And there's three trolls in a room with a potion of healing and a scroll of detect and dead and a bunch of fucking water jugs. What? How much do these things weigh? Actually, three. All right. Accurate. Tabletop accuracy. I appreciate it, game. I see you. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, it's more trolls. This, like, this this very much reminds me of, like, old D&D &D type stuff where you're like, oh, we're attacking the, the you know, this, this base or whatever, and it's, like, just a bajillion encounters of, like, half a dozen orcs. And, and, and it kind of just comes down to, like, I sure hope you really like fighting orcs. Yo, dog, orcs. Hey, guess what? Orcs. Oh, orcs. Getting tired of orcs? Rot grubs. Fucking rot grubs. Rot grubs are everywhere. Man, you dang kids to Ken's loot. Oh, I know what this is for. I think we need this for that ghost. And then she plays us a tune. Um, Back in the days of yore, by which I mean to say the 70s, early 80s, and maybe a little bit of the 90s if you were still playing Beck Me, there was a lot of shit that just killed you in D&D. And rot grubs were one of like, they were everywhere. And basically what rot grubs were is they'd like get onto your character. You'd like be like, oh, there's a there's a sack in this room, right? And it's obviously got some some goodies or something in it. And you open it and you're digging around. And it's like, oh, it's just full of like, you know, coins and like flour or something. Fuck stupid. And you're like, well, this is dumb. And then the DM cackles and smiles his evil, shitty DM smile. And all of a sudden you're being attacked by these little worms. And if you don't get them all, they get in you. And when the worms are in you, it like deals damage. And I think you can kill them with like fire or something initially. But if you don't kill them in time, they kill you. It's, it's like 1d6 rounds or something or like a turn and they reach your heart. They burrow through your body to your heart and kill you. All right, so let's do some science. Hit me. No, that's that's you did it wrong, buddy. You got to hit me, dude. The party's AC ain't that great, brother. All right, 14. Keep going. 15. All right. Fly chunk. 
Okay, so we can't cast fly in here. That's very disappointing. So supposedly, fly is supposed to like absolutely destroy these things damage output. I don't know what it actually does. I've never thought to do it. Although now that I think about it, I may have tried it in my original playthrough and this exact same thing happened. This isn't the only dungeon in the game that we bump into grave elementals, I don't believe. And I'm sure by the time that we bump into them again, I will have long forgotten. But I'll have to try to remember and we can see if that actually does anything. Am I good on spells? I think I'm good on spells. Cat, have you leveled again yet? No, you're still level. Ah, he's like right there. OK, so we've got some doors. Oh, these are just main chamber doors. Well, that's no fun. I don't actually care about those doors at all. I do, however, heal. Wow, that was a good roll there, cat. I think I think your serious wounds is like 3d8 plus five or something. It's not crazy. He man, healing magic. I want to say, like, back in the day, it was terrible, and it was, but, like, compared to the healing rate of not having healing magic, it was glorious. Because, like, without healing magic, you were healing, like, a point a day, and ain't nobody got time for that shit. Hi, guys. Uh, Fuego. Un momento, por favor. And and now, now I'm gonna need y'all to chill out. Oh shit, they survived. Melees, get in there. By melees, I mostly mean Chunk, because he's the only one that hits. Chunk. Chunk. Thank you. Took you a minute, but you got there. Stop puking, guys. Like... Get help. I'm gonna hit this one with a cone of cold. I wanna see. Ah, now he's he's gonna die. Never mind. I'll say, yeah, if, if Chunk had only hit him like once, I would have tried with a cone of cold. Where is Yell's treasure chamber? I know there's. Ah, I was gonna say, I know there's Wemmick armor. So this is the troll armor. Sadly, I'm not gonna be able to show it off. This stuff looks bitchin'. If you wanna see it, like, just look at that. It's like got spikes and claws and shit. And here's the Wemmick armor. Negative three armor class. Chonky boy. Do I have that ring of protection? That's Featherfall. Let me put a ring of protection on him, get it even lower. I could cast draw dexterity on him and get it even lower. I think going from a 16 to an 18, I think I'd get him another two points. What do we got? Your critical wounds. Uh... I still have no idea what this powder of coagulation does. There's so many potions. So many potions. Raise dead. Yo, dog, more potions. So. So many potions. Um. That's speed. I'm gonna get rid of a potion of healing. Drink and be merry. What else we got? Mage scroll of eh, hold monster is actually pretty good. Two handed sword is this magical? It is. So my thinking with the two handed sword actually spe is specific to the Wemmick, because we have the shield and the mace or the shield and the hammer. I could give these to Ket and move him into the front row. It's interesting, the shield doesn't give him... Oh, it's because... There we go. Yeah, I could give it to Cat and then throw Rack Tur in the background with a two-hander. The only problem... No! Cat's actually a thicker lad than... than Rack Tur. Rack Tur is going to be a better fighter, though, like, for accuracy and stuff, but... Yeah, so I think that's going to be the layout going forward, because I think Rack Tur... Ooh, Wanda Frost. I think that casts... Ice Storm? Maybe Cone of Cold. And this quarter staff can go. Yeah, so that's nice. Do we actually have improved identify? I don't think. No, we don't. Game. Speaking of which, though, uh, we do get some extra stuff here. Third level spell. Ah. Uh, 
Let's go with like. I mean, I guess another magical vestment. I don't recall negative plan protection being too useful in this one. I know in in strads, whatever the fuck, it's really useful. What about here though? So protection from evil, ten foot radius might be nice actually. I'm just thinking like general party buffs, but also cure serious wounds. Cure serious wounds. Sorry, game. When he gets the when he gets his third spell, I'll grab him some. All right. So that looks like it for here. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, I ignored you. Have a cone of cold. He survived. Irksome. Oh my God. It's fucking. Jesus, he ain't going down. I want to see how much damage Rector can do with this two-hander. Oh my god, that attack speed, though. 14. Pretty good hit. Yeah, these guys would be large size. So the, the thing's doing, like, I think, 3 to 18 on a two-hander. Yeah. So 3d6. Like, that's pretty chunky. Oh. Where is it? Is it this guy? No. Oh, it's this one. Okay. All right. I wonder if there's one on the other side too. Ooh, it's a teleporter in here. This is probably to get out of the pit from over here. All right, so there's that. But over here, ah! Oh. I just say, oh, this is I think where um, Glorinthia is. This should be where Glorinthia is. That scream that these things make when they they come out of the ground. Totally got reused, or was used in uh, Anvil of Dawn, in the intro movie for it. When they set that like massive ass like <clears throat> mountain of bodies on fire, dude. Just say, yeah. Sadly, like I would take her. I fucking. This is. To this day, probably one of my favorite hirelings in any RPG ever, but we are not going to be doing anything with her. She has a quest in the Temple of Set, and when you complete that, she leaves your party. Sadly. Again, if you want to see her and can put up with stuffy old ghost audio. Ooh, ooh, fucking Adam and tight plate. Hell yeah. Shield that is non magical, battle axe, non magical, adamant type plate helm. That's actually less magical or less amazing than what he's got. Man, some like fucking drow came back here and got splattered, I guess. Sucks for him. Uh. I'm not stealing nothing anybody's going to miss, you fuck. I wonder if we can actually can we turn these guys. No, it makes sense that we wouldn't be able to on account of it's an elemental. But what do I know? Back in the days of your back in the days of your clerics could turn demons and shit. So I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh my hit points. Leave Pappy. Jesus, fuck. They hit so hard. We have no healing. I can open the pit back up and cheese it. I also have the Staff of Thunder and Lightning. Don't think I don't know. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to use the things that I have. Almighty. We can only back up so far. I'm saving. <laughs> oh, this game. There's no way that there's just one. Uh huh. Scroll of heal, also a good get. How about like a, a chest, something to put you in. Hey, buddy. You smell funny and you look funnier. All right, you're within range of me. I don't know if I'm within range of you though. I'm gonna just sit here and click my mouse a lot until you die. Why would they add, like, the animation to the sword? It just, oh, it makes things so sluggish. So, so petulant. What else we got? Mage scroll slow, that's 
Not quite what I want. Back into the bed. Is that a potion of flying? All right. Um, I will just chug this like basic healing potion back in the day. I actually thought you were going to miss that rant. Fuck off, dude. Back in the day, haste and slow were the same spell. It was just haste, but you could reverse it to cast slow. That's like um, like heal and harm. They used to be the same spell light and darkness. That's like that's like that's old D and D. I think that's like Beck me and maybe first edition. I don't remember enough about first edition. Honestly, I played more basic well, basic and expert than I did. First edition, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's just so much shit in my inventory, you guys. Non magical dagger be gone. It's going to take me down into the Okay. All right, game. Where's that pit lead? I must know. But well, first time I have a nappy. But yeah, I don't know. I would say that was kind of nifty. Oh. But you got to be careful going too far back because. We're going to eat a lightning bolt at some point here, I'm sure. Yeah. Is it this one? No. There we go. What's in the pit? Well, that's not very nice. Why would you just just do that? Just drop a grave. Oh, God, that's a troll. That's a statue of a troll. Why don't you just drop a grave elemental on a guy like that. Drop a guy on a grave elemental, I suppose. All right, immediate portal out. Uh, but yeah, Beck me is like. Mm, Beck me is a very interesting. I wouldn't like microcosm of D and D. It's it's just because like there's a lot of spells that, like you recognize a lot of it, and then there's stuff that's just like weird, like um. Oh, would be an example. All right, so like spells, cleric spells, right? Everybody knows heal. Well, there also used to be a spell called cure all, which basically did the same thing as heal. But heal was better. Cure all, I think, like healed all hit point damage, whereas your cure all healed hit point damage, whereas heal was like all the negative status effects and stuff. Or like wish, you couldn't cast wish unless you had an 18 intelligence and were 36th level, which was the level cap for mortal characters, and just all kinds of crazy stuff like that. It's very, very interesting, and I would actually recommend it to anybody with an interest in um, like D&D history. And like the thing that gets me about it is like there's so much there. Yeah, I knew this was here. There's like so much stuff there that like to this day. To this day, oh, there's a spinner there. That's a mean trap. Uh, there's stuff that like I still use from Beck me today, like reaction rolls, which was how you were Oh, what? Ah, oh, shit! Strength damage, no! Alright, we're good, we're good. No, no, we took a point of strength damage. That should wear off when we uh, have a nap. Negative plane protection would protect me from that. Do we have... We do have a key. I'm pretty sure we could probably pick these locks. My god, what is this fight? Uh, going cold. Still alive. Okay, I have to be careful backing up or I'm gonna eat a lightning bolt with my ass. And I can assure you that is less fun. You do not want to boof a lightning bolt, children. Oh my god, dude, die. We have to be careful. Like, this thing could one-shot Chunk. Not dead. Ah, fucking lightning bolts. My hit points. What do we got? Oh my god, more. No. Stop giving me shit that I don't need, game. Um, here. For the axe of hurling into Rector's offhand. But yeah, like the way it it's just a very different way of playing DD, and I would recommend it to basically anybody because of how differently it plays from like modern DD. Whereas like modern DD, a lot of it is like under the assumption that like the players are there to tell a story type thing. Whereas Beck Me. 
like you're obviously going to get stories out of it, but it's more of like a story generator because of how like arbitrary a lot of the rules were. Like you bump into a group of orcs in a dungeon. Can we pick it? Video games. You bump into a group of orcs, right? And I mean, orcs are evil, but unless the party like immediately jumps them, you would roll a reaction roll and that's 2d6 and depending on, you know, modifiers and stuff. Uh, the result could be like, well, maybe the orcs aren't hostile. And so then like the DM has to come up with like, well, why aren't these orcs hostile? Maybe they like just kidnapped a bunch of people or something and are like trying to get back to their their domain. And it's just stuff like that. And it 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 makes for a more really game. You're not going to let Rector attack with the Sinus offhand. How about that? No. You're just being dicks. How about that? There we go. And I don't know. It just it makes a much more spontaneous game. I think it probably requires more from the DM. Like it requires the DM to be able to like spontaneously pull things out of their ass and run with it. But it can lead to some pretty interesting stuff. Whereas most like I don't want to say most modules are on the rails now because like there were a lot of old modules that were on the rails as well, but I don't know, it's just different, and it's pretty nifty, I think. So can we turn these guys? Yes, we can. Good to know. But like the the reaction rolls, those are something that to this day I still use in my games. I don't think the players have caught on to that one yet. Do I have I do I have shitty healing potions I don't care about. Um the there are rules in there for like siege combat and stuff that are actually really they're they're simple obviously like the mechanics aren't as deep as something like you know third edition DD &D or or fifth edition D, &D. but sometimes simplicity is good because it makes it run fast and i don't know it's just it's just pretty cool would recommend you can pick it up on drive through rpg in uh in pdf form and uh yeah it's a it, it's a fun little thing and like the best part is you can roll up a character in like two minutes it's wonderful because like a first level character you like roll their ability scores you roll their hit points and you're done you don't have to worry about all kinds of like random minutia like you do nowadays there are some characters that like you'll have abilities and stuff if you're like a, a spell cast or whatever, but like a fighter, you, you know, get your weapon and, and you're good to go. It's pretty great. It makes PC death a little bit less painful because PC death happens not infrequently. All right, so what's through this hell portal? Do I really want to know? Yeah, OK, let's find out. Oh. Well, then where'd the other portal take us? Now I got to go back and find that out. As I struggle to navigate the terrain. I'm going to need to make a place to like dump stuff because like we have so much garbage. OK, so where does this take me? Totally different area. Video games. Yoink, Kyok Tom's ointment. OK, what's this stuff do like uh, you've taken damage? OK, it's healing. Trajan Ket feels better. <laughs> sure. All right. I bet it's, it might have like some cure disease element to it, but then that's like that's Kyok Tom's ointment. I don't know. Don't spoil it. I don't I don't care that much. Oh, shit. Fuck. No, none of that. Wow, good fireball. One shot that thing. Are we looking on spells? We have ice storms because I'm sure. Is there just one? Yes. Nope. Give him some space. Bro. And nothing there. Just making sure. And all. Oh. Potions of extra healing, man. I got them coming out my ears. The empiric touch. 
Not... Not amazing. On account of Grove's never going to be in the front row, but... I'll take it regardless. Okay. More air! God almighty! And stairs up! This just goes on. I did not recall this place being this large. And we have a sealed door up. Bro. Uh. Oh, dickery. That is some, that is, that's mean. That is so mean. I respect it. But boy, if that ain't terrible. Uh, okay. I have no idea what that did, but I assume I am expected to press it. Look at that. Picking locks. I doubt it gets us experience points, though. Hello. Okay, I mean, there's this whole central area that has yet to... Mm, do not want... I think I didn't see that fucking thing coming out of the ground over there. I did. Maybe. No, it was just that. Okay. Needless paranoia. Oh, I see you. Uh, turn on dead. Like, turn on dead. That's something that was like super straightforward in in like back me D&D. You rolled 2d6 and depending on how hard how like how nasty the undead was you needed either like a a seven seven a nine or an eleven I think to turn it and if it was like you were hit dice than you you automatically turned it and if you had like more than two or three hit dice more than it you just automatically destroyed it and then you just like roll to see how many things you you fucked up. It was great. Super simple. No need for saving throws. None of that crap. Player rolled a die. DM's like, yep, thing fucks off. Things destroyed. Thing ignores it. Snappy. And that's like, I guess, kind of one of the big things about older rules is that they I did not mean to do that. Damn it. I wanted to cast a spell. Uh, the the speed of play of older rule sets is like really nice and it's something that I've kind of like become really enamored with after years and years and years of playing like third edition D&D and Pathfinder where you know one combat can take an hour in like Beck me a fight could take like five minutes if everybody's on point and you know paying attention is that a magic axe it is we finally found one magic shield no Right, so how is this thing? Pick up the axe, Gene. One to eight, one to eight. It's just a, a regular old battle axe. All right, we'll we'll hold on to it. Should Raktor ever need to enter the front line, mayhap dual wielding. All right, and I think I'm going to have a nap because Robe is almost out of spells. Chunk probably has some strength damage, but he's better now. I'm actually looking on levels. Oh, I think Rove just dinged 10 on Mage, which would be an extra cone of cold. And I think Raktur just hit level 8. He's catching up with Trajan Ket now in the hit point department. You better watch out, Ket. You're nearing replaceability status. Uh, let's see. No, not Ket. I need Rove. Memorize. Uh, yes, two cones of cold or a hold monster. Hold monster. Eh. My damage is probably just going to be more generally useful. An extra agonizer scorcher is nice, too. Oh, I see we're at 35 minutes. That's okay. A little over. Ah, damn it. It's not the one I wanted, I don't think. Oh, I think that button that I pressed turned off that spinner back a ways. So this. 
And then we do this, and then we do this one. Okay, and that just takes us back here. All right, so I mean, and this takes us out, right? Yeah. All right, so we actually are done in here. All right, I was gonna keep pushing to complete, but apparently we are done. So let's waddle our asses out of here. We found some good stuff in here. I mean, we got the Wemix armor. Uh, more importantly, though, we got not this piece, but we got this piece and we got Tekken's loot. This periaptive wound closure. I think maybe you just have to hold it and it like gives you regeneration or something. I don't know. Do you know that Trajan Ket is encumbered? Can I take anything off of you? Not really. How encumbered are you? 71 he's only lightly encumbered i suppose it's probably like in part <laughs> this armor weighing 40 yeah it's the armor doing it eh, i'm kind of okay with that i guess if need be like i said i can just swap rack to her back up to the front i've only got cat up here because for the time being he has more uh more hit points but rack will be pulling ahead and then i'll probably actually swap him over to dual wielding because with Magical Vestment, I think he'll actually have a better AC than Ket. And he can use probably this Battle Axe and this Magic Dagger. And uh, we can have a pair of axe-wielding stabby boys in the front of the party. But that is for another time. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So as per usual, folks, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. And I will see you all next time. We're in uh, probably the Temple of Set. But I'm also going to go and dump a bunch of stuff probably in town. Until then... Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series, see if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, be the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.